Hello and welcome to another video of our virtual thread deep dive session. In this video, I will talk about the improvements we have made for our substance and x rite AXF materials. With thread 2019.3, we have already introduced a new material type for using substance archive materials that have been created with Substance Designer. The results and the quality that can be achieved with substance materials and up to 8K textures is really stunning. One big benefit when using substance materials is that users are able to create presets for different variations of the same substance file. A preset is an XML description with different values that can be either created in Substance Designer or directly in Thread and can be imported, exported and shared between different applications. Instead of duplicating a material to show different variations, the preset triggers the Substance Engine, which outputs a new texture based on the values. To make the workflow more seamlessly with our variant sets with Thread 2020.1, we have added the possibility to track substance materials into the material tab of the variant sets and choose a preset from the dropdown you want to trigger. The same applies now for x rite AXF materials that contain multiple choices. Depending on the complexity of the substance material and the amount of presets you switch at the same time, this might take a few seconds. Therefore, it is possible to enable a preset cache in the preferences that internally stores the textures per preset, which makes switching them much faster. Due to the fact all textures are stored in the file, this will increase the VPP file size depending on the amount of presets and texture output size. With Thread 2020.1, it is now also possible to use Substance Panorama HDRs created with Substance Designer on an environment dome to illuminate your 3D scene. Therefore, we introduced a new Substance Panorama material that allows the usage of HDR archive files that have a 32-bit float value and an aspect ratio of 2 by 1. Users can create presets for different light setups and combine them with viewpoints in the variant sets. This allows multiple light setups driven from one environment that can be adjusted on demand. Okay, let's right jump into VRED. First of all, I will download a material from the Substance source. Ideally, it's something that has presets in it already. Let's quickly change our texture settings and also the resolution of the presets and recapture them. The first one I'd like to, and I will create a new preset for that one. Now I can toggle through my presets, and whenever I do that, the Substance Engine will recalculate the texture output in the background. To use them in the variant sets, you can simply create a new set. and drag the material into the material tab. Now you can toggle through the presets from the variant sets as well. This works the same for x rite AXF materials that contain multiple versions of it. Same here, you can simply drag and drop it into the material tab of the variant sets and toggle through. So for substance materials, depending on the texture size and the amount of presets you toggle at the same time, this might take a while. Therefore, we have added an option in the Preferences, in the Substance tab, where you can able, enable the preset cache. Now, the generated texture is stored in the memory, which allows Fred to toggle through the variations much faster. Due to the fact that the textures are stored within the VPB file, Keep in mind, as more presets you create, as larger your VPP file gets. 
Let's have a look how substance panorama materials are used in FRED. In our example folder, we deliver a small substance panorama where you can change certain aspects and turn on and off some lights. In the material editor in FRED, you can go to create environment, substance panorama and load the substance panorama we deliver in our examples. So let's change some properties of that. When you are happy with your settings, you can create a new preset. For the preset, I would use a higher resolution before I capture that. Excellent. Now I have created these two presets and actually it makes sense to store them within my VPP file. So I activate cache preset and whenever I now toggle through my variants, it's much faster than going through the substance engine, recalculating the textures in the background. I now can combine that with different viewpoints. Let's create two different viewpoints. And let's combine the viewpoints with the two different substance panorama presets in a variant set. Excellent, this is what I wanted. That's it for our substance and X-Rite XF improvements. Hope to see you in one of the next videos.